everyone must calibrate their monitor. This is the A number one most important thing on this CD. If you don't do anything else on this CD, please calibrate your monitor. Pretend that your monitor is not calibrated and you send a photo to somebody over the web after working on it in Photoshop and their monitor's calibrated. Well, guess what? It could look like this. Let's pretend that your monitor is calibrated and you send an image that you worked on in Photoshop, you send it to somebody else and their monitor is not calibrated, guess what? It could look like this. It's so important. A number one, this is the very first thing I want you to do is calibrate your monitor, okay? Tell everybody, tell your family and friends, tell your coworkers, because the more calibrated monitors we have out there, the better everything is going to look. Okay, so this is very important. If you haven't calibrated your monitor already, please do so now, and I will show you exactly how to do it on this video. Okay, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your monitor on the Macintosh running Mac OS X. All right, I'm going to come right over here to the little apple at the very top and select System Preferences. When that comes up, come right up here to the top and click on Displays. All right, and then click on the Color tab. And right here, you'll see a little button called Calibrate. Go ahead and click on that button. And a little calibrator assistant will show up on the screen. Okay? Almost like kind of like a wizard. This will help you and take you through the calibrating process. All right, come right down here and click on Continue. Okay, this is the very first step right here. Now, the very first step you must do is turn up the contrast on your monitor to the highest setting. Okay? Now, if you have a really, really cheap LCD monitor, this might not work that good, but if you have a fairly good LCD monitor, if you're running an Apple LCD monitor, uh, then you shouldn't have any problems. But go ahead and turn up the contrast to the highest setting, okay? Then I want you to look right over here on this black box right here. Inside this black box is an oval shape, and you can see this is uh, kind of give you an example right here. Uh, it, showing that if it's look if it looks like this, it's too bright, and if it's all the way dark, it's too dark. What you want to do is adjust the just the brightness, not the contrast. Adjust the brightness on your monitor so you can just barely see that oval shape. Just barely see it. I can just barely see mine, and that's exactly what you want to see. Now you might not be able to see my oval shape. Okay, that might, if you, if you can't see mine, then maybe your monitor is not calibrated right, but. This is my monitor, and I know I have it set right when I can just barely see that oval shape, okay? Just about, you see where I'm, I'm circling the, the shape right now with my mouse, and that is approximately where it is, okay? So after you adjust your monitor, adjust the brightness so you can see that oval shape, just barely. When you've done that, click on Continue. Okay, right here we will adjust the gamma of the monitor, okay? Now when you turn this, when you move this around, you're gonna see the monitor get brighter and darker and all this fancy stuff, okay? What you need to do is you're gonna see a picture of a little Apple logo right there. You need to blend that logo, the Apple logo, in with these lines outside of it. An easy way to do this, the way I do it, is I actually, I almost, you know how you can force your eyes to see blurry a little bit, or squinch your eyes a little bit, so it looks a little blurry. When you, can, when you do that, then it'll blend the lines in together, and you can actually, when you do that, uh, come over here to the slider and just adjust it just about till you get it right so, you, so everything kind of blends in really good, okay? And after you've done that, go ahead and click on Continue, all right? All right, now we come up to another target gamma selection here, okay? You know, if you're working, if you're doing stuff in Photoshop, uh, keep this on 1.8 standard gamma or gamma. And don't, if you're using, you know, if you're doing some television, uh, you know, post-production video work, uh, and you only have this monitor for an independent, uh, you know, production display, uh, then you might want to use the 2.2 television gamma. But most of us are going to be using this 1.8 standard gamma for doing graphics and things like that. So go ahead and leave it on that. Click continue. All right. And it'll ask you, uh, you know, what you want for the white point. Okay, let's go ahead and select native for the white point, and then go ahead and click continue. And then it'll ask you to name this profile. All right, give the profile a name. So you can put like Joe's profile. I could put Mark's profile, or you can just put the name of your, or, you know, put the model number of the monitor that you have because that's what I have in here. So I know when I plug this monitor into my Mac, 
all I have to do is just load up this profile for this particular monitor. So it's really easy to do. And then just click continue and then it'll just go ahead and save it. And it'll just say a new calibrated display profile has been created and set to the current profile for this display. And that's all you have to do. Go ahead and click done and you're done. Just go ahead and click out of this right here and that's it. Now, if you have a PC, go ahead and move over to the calibrated monitor with the PC. 